Welcome to this little video series about Safeguard. Safeguard by One Identity, consisting of the products Safeguard for Privileged Passwords, Safeguard for Privileged Sessions, and Safeguard for Privileged Analytics. Ooh, lots of stuff. Okay, it's not that complicated. So, in this video series, you're going to see in the main part of it an overview what these products are, how we work together, what is the intended use case for this. So, if you're really interested to get just an overview, this may be just enough for you. If you really want to see the product live in actions, okay, you're more than happy. Welcome to join us in a demonstration of the standard and common use cases. So, whatever, how to initiate a session, how to audit the session, how to change passwords, manage passwords, and so on. And if you are more than interested in the little technical stuff that is used to or that is needed and required to make the product work, we have a third section in this video series that goes a little bit more into the technical details, how to configure stuff, how to change things to fit into your environment and more or less make the product work. So if you want to have it tested and want to play around with it, you may have to stick until the bitter end and then you pretty much know it all. If you want to have more information on this, just feel, feel free to contact us and we are more than happy to help you. Let's talk about privileged accounts and why these accounts are important in a company or even more specific, why these accounts are a target for attackers and maybe for breaches. So if you see the standard attack vector that is some kind of process that happens every day in a company uh, and how intruders and attackers gain footprint in a company to whatever steal data in the end, you usually start with point number one. This is about the uh, identification of some kind of vulnerabilities or ways into a company. And we know software isn't perfect, so there are a couple of holes and weaknesses in that stuff. So you may find something that lets you in somehow into that company. So you find some vulnerability you can build your ground on and then you're going to gain access. And once you have done this, you sure have access to something. And this is pretty much more, more or less a basic access or initial access. So it's not very privileged, it is just maybe standard. And once you have the position inside the company, you what do you do? You, you're running around like hell and crazy so everybody can spot you? No, you will not because you will say silent and you will take a look around. And the, ta the, the way to, or the, the process to take a look around is, has just one aim. Keep your, keep your stuff secured and try to strengthen your position. And once you have done this, because you may want to look around what's important in the company, where, where are honeypots you can target on, and so on and so on. And once you have the capability to strengthen your position or to, to even know exactly what's really going on in that company, you may find additional things that you can gain access for. And once you have done this, you are pretty much at the stage number four. That is more or less the position where you now can steal pr uh, privileged credentials. And privileged credentials is the thing you need to get in the end access to privileged data or to sensitive data. And at this point number four, we would like to position our product safeguard to prevent the uh, capabilities for attackers to steal your uh, privileged credentials. Otherwise, with that credentials, of course, you can get access to your, the sensitive data. And once you have done this, what's the legal or what's the, what's the normal thing of, of what you're doing then? Grab your things, run and hide. And that's usually what we do. And then <laughs> you are going to find the data in Pastebin or somewhere or you find your company headline, your company on the next morning headlines, and that's pretty something you really don't want to do. Okay, that's it, more or less. So if we are talking about privilege access management and the way how to achieve things, uh, you should be aware and always keep in mind and always know that the customer may be thinking the same way, that this is not a single product, more or less. It is a strategy or it is more or less a journey into your final destination, which is called security. We want to make clear this with that following slide that shows about some kind of road that ticks our various points in products, like we have for our privileged session proxy, our privileged password vault, and of course the additional things from our portfolio, like the least privilege management, 
of course, the privilege analytics. And on the far other end of that road, maybe something that's called privilege governance, that in case is the identity manager. But you have to be aware that this all plays together and that once you started that journey, you need to pass the road sooner or later or maybe until the end to implement something that gives you a real complete strategy and a complete security in the end. If we now focus a little bit more on the safeguard portfolio, which is the privileged sessions, the privileged password and the privileged analytics, uh, you're going to end up with that little picture. So the road is not that long, so you only have three stages to cross or three products to implement. And it is a much more faster and for the customer more overseeable approach as the picture we have seen before. On the other hand, if you talk about these products, you have to keep in mind that all these products are independent products, maybe except uh, the analytics that requires the privileged session product. But in the end, it is sessions and passwords. So if you want to implement or position that, you can ev even go or just state to the customer that you can start maybe with the password and then add sessions as required or go the other way around. It is totally up to you. And of course, you have to agree with the customer what is the best match for it. Let's have a short look on the safeguard product uh, from an overview perspective. So you know that the uh, safeguard products consists of three functional blocks, I would call them. So we have the safeguard for privileged passwords. That is the password vault functionality, how, to, how where your passwords are stored and kept secret and very much uh, secured by encryption or other mechanisms. And of course, you have as a second functional block, the safeguard for privileged sessions. This is the former Balabit product. You still can mention this to customers. Balabit has, is a very good and well-known brand in the market. So maybe the customer has come across this in the, in the past. And of course, on top of this session proxy, we have our privileged analytics. This is a little bit more connected to this user behavior control area. So you want to see who is doing what in your environment. And this safeguard for privileged analytics is part of the session proxy or is some kind of extension that requires the session proxy to be implemented as well. So you cannot run analytics without the session proxy.